Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Aries Sun, Moon and uh, Rising as well, weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can jump directly to, uh, to the spread. All right, <clears throat> so the first card which stands for the topic of Aries for this uh, for this week, July 22nd to 28th, is going to be the, eight, uh, the Seven of Wands, excuse me. Then the second card which represents the challenges that Aries needs to face here throughout the week, that is going to be the Three of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Queen of uh, Pentacles. And then the last one, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering uh, to you, Aries, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, a bit of a rough week, uh, for what it seems, just on a first glance, looking at the cards, there are to be a lot of uh, disbelief, if, uh, if this is the right way to put it, really, uh, where, you know, people does not kind of like, believe in this success of your actions or that whatever you're trying to to pull through you actually will be able to pull through but let's just run the cards down one more time and then we're going to scrutinize the reading card by card so the first one as we said is going to be the topic that is going to be the seven of wands followed by the um challenges that you need to overcome here that is to be the three of cups then the fourth card, the third card, excuse me, is going to be the uh, positive aspect of the week. That is to be the Queen of uh, Pentacles, and then the last one here is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, which stands as a guidance. All right. So uh, the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands usually points to resistance, competition. You know, uh, being cornered, people standing against you. That is at least if you are following here. Uh, <clears throat> the image itself, but the Seven of Wands also represents a test, all right? A test where you can be either tested inwardly in, in a sense of where um, your patience could be tested or your determination to pull something through could be tested or you can be tempted outwardly to abandon a certain goal for a favor of another. However, this card here for throughout the duration of the week, it does point that whatever your agenda is, you know, whatever you're working uh, over throughout the week, either scheduling an appointment for a, uh, a vacation, for example, because now is the season of, of the vacations, you know, or are trying to mesmerize someone or just trying to be successful into a project of yours. Your moment is going to come throughout the week. It's going to be a tiny window here with the Seven of Wands, but you need to have that readiness to jump into action as soon as this window of opportunity forms in front of you. The accompanied card to the Seven of Wands is going to be the Page of Wands for what it seems. So the formation 
information here it is their active supporters and you have to be brilliant with your strategies what i mean is that you need to kind of achieve that whoa kind of factor you know into your performance in other words you know allow yourself to be bold or kind of like <laughs> it's not even allowing but more like aim for yourself to be bold and to to take on risky maneuvers at least seemingly risky maneuvers when the timing of opportunity comes around uh believe it or not with these couple of cards uh, you know new means and new uh options available for you to push your uh thing through are to be um are to manifest let's say with this uh window of opening window of opportunity and uh, you will have to take advantage of them should you want to push your things through uh, just to give you an example of that let's say that uh, you and your wife or husband it doesn't really matter um, are planning a vacation all right and you want to go in europe right but in the but your husband let's say loves a certain band and throughout the vacation this band is going to be in south america all right so your husband wants to plan that vacation into south america so your husband can attend to a, a concert of that band however the new circumstances that for example another band is roaming in europe which is equally good as the one that your husband wants to be and he was completely unaware of that the second one is going to be in europe therefore this new mean opens you a, a small window of opportunity so you can reverse you know the uh the direction of the situation which you don't want to follow this is just an, an example how the thing could manifest so uh the negative aspect here uh, that will be the uh three of cups the negative aspect or rather like the challenges and the three of cups in this follow-up it does represents being on the same page with everybody else it's simply as that people ain't gonna feel you all right people ain't going to understand your means your goals um how do you say it uh the the reason why you are doing certain things in other words people ain't gonna share your vision with uh, with the manifestation you know of your endeavors and uh, for that reason you know you, you you may kind of feel a bit despondent that there is a lack of clamor in those around you which are supposed to put a great hopes into for example your family very best friends your your romantic partner you know your boss and etc etc the accompanied card here is going to be um the empress the formation it is a, a passive friends and now a a big correlation in between the first couple of cards and the second couple of cards comes around now that because you are to make some risky moves here or rather like a, a bold moves out of nowhere it will look like you are pulling your last trump off uh, off your sleeve people are gonna feel uncomfortable right because they have been caught by surprise and uh, they will have to react rather swiftly on your action or on your um, in regards to your new strategy they will have to swiftly take a side let's say that way and because they cannot completely comprehend where you're coming from you know with uh, with your maneuvers here it is likely that they are to take the opposite stand so if you are lacking full support throughout the week don't get discouraged that is the challenge it is something that you need to go through meaning that if you believe in yourself doesn't matter who else believe in you and doesn't matter who else believe into uh, in your goals and into um into your dreams in general so that leads us to the third card which points to the positive aspect and we do have a, a specific person here queen of pentacles so this is very self-absorbed woman most likely a woman it could be a man self-absorbed because this person tends to work on themselves quite a lot and as a matter of fact they believe that this is the most important thing no matter you know what your surrounding is and all that matters is how comfortable you are with your progress and uh, in general you know with your goals moving forward into the future experienced person 
and also a person who tends to maximize profits of current undertakings and endeavors and that is the key here so that person uh, is going to help you understand that regardless of how difficult the situation could be right now you know or how bad the project that your career could develop at this particular moment you know or how your marriage is on the rock at the moment nothing is lost yet and there is still an options and an opportunities which you can take to reverse that and as we saw this week is going to present you with a tiny window of opportunity where you can fully do so uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the two of uh, pens or the two of cups. Excuse me, formation. It is a um, passive friends, and with the two of cups now, this woman uh, it's, uh, definitely have a thing for you or this person. Now, if uh, it could be as well love, all right, that this person secretly loves you. But uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way with the two of cups. It is just there is a, a large portion of synergy in between you both. So let's say that you are a woman and this elderly uh, elderly woman here uh, kind of approaches you uh, and helps you boost your it's not self-respect but let's say self-determination despite that the others doesn't believe you you know you have to do what think is right and that is for the reason that she sees herself in younger ages as you are right now but again it could be also a that for example a person approaches you with the same intentions here because they secretly have a uh, a thing for you because this is a, a catalyst card it is unlikely that they are going to divulge their uh, their emotional reasons, you know, why they are doing that. But just have one in mind. So let's say that this uh, you are a woman and that handsome gentleman approaches you with this uh, statement, for example, seriously, you are going to abandon your goal just because the others tells you to. All right. And uh, as he helps you to realize that things aren't lost yet and you can alter your outcomes, he may very well have that emotional uh, connection to you, meaning that they have a thing for you, all right? And the last card here that we have, this is going to be the uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you. So guidance-wise, the Eight of Pentacles is a bit um, two-headed. I don't know how to say it in English. So it has a, that, a, a two ways how it can manifest, or it could manifest as well, um, simultaneously with its both properties so first of all as we said you are going to have a small window of opportunity all right now before that window of opportunity comes around the eight of pentacles asks you to have the eye for the subtleties all right to uh first of all secure your current position and try to i would say analyze what is to come from that window of opportunity so you can make your strategy bulletproof all right. The other the other manifestation of the Eight of Pentacles is that uh, it pretty much says that throughout this week something that took a long time to be prepared now can be put into stir. Okay, so you, if you have toiled a lot to prepare a certain project or certain uh, approach uh, in the past couple of weeks, or you dreamt about it, you know, or in the past couple of months, well, this week that tiny window of opportunity will allow you to do so. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Cups, the formation. It is a um, passive friends and that gets even better. Now, uh, with the Seven of Cups, you can completely neglect the uh, Eight of Pentacles if you are lazy like me, for example, you know, because the only uh, backfire that you are going to uh, have to suffer if you don't be meticulous in regards to your preparation you know, uh, it's going to be a, a small disappointment, which will bounce you back a couple of steps, but you can retrace your back up again. All right. This time around, learning your lesson and not allowing the same kind of failure or mistake to happen. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.